Okay, our second one is an EGD with a duodenal biopsy. If you guys don't know what an EGD is, again, physicians always use abbreviations whenever they can. So an EGD is an esophagogastroduodenoscopy. So again, just by the name, you should have a hint on something with the procedure, right? Esophagogastroduodenoscopy with a duodenal biopsy. So if we stop right there and analyze it, what does the word biopsy mean as far as our root operation? What is the intent of a biopsy? The intent of a biopsy is to remove tissue, right? We're sampling tissue, abnormal tissue, could be normal. We don't know. That's why we're cutting out part of the tissue or taking out part of this tissue to look at it. Right, so our root operation is excision. Good job, because we're just taking part of that tissue, part of that lesion, part of that organ, part of whatever, to look at it, right? So in this example, part of the duodenal tissue. So our root operation, we know, is going to be excision. Great. So we're going to go to our index, our PCS index. We're going to go to E, and we're going to look up excision. And then excision of what? Once we get to excision, what body part are we looking at? What did we excise? Okay, we excise the duodenum. Right, part of the duodenal tissue, because it says EGD with duodenal biopsy. So the biopsy was actually in the duodenum. So under excision, we're going to go to D, to duodenum, and we should see the characters 0, D as in dog, D as in boy, 9. Okay, so now let's flip to our table, 0, D, B. And then find our body part, 9, in column 4. I'm on page 363 in the PCS codebook. So now we're in the first row, right? There's only one row where 9 is, so that's easy. Now let's go to the next column, approach character 5. So would our approach be open? percutaneous, percutaneous endoscopic, by a natural artificial opening, by a natural artificial opening endoscopic. How is a EGD performed? If we think about that, how is a scope put EGD is esophago, gastro, which is stomach, and duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. So how do we get a scope into the esophagus, the stomach, and the small intestine. Because we know it's a scope because the word EGD has oscopy at the end, right? So we know it's eight. Good. Eight. By a natural or artificial opening endoscopic. Anytime your root operation has oscopy, O-S-C-O-P-Y, oscopy, that is letting you know a scope was used. So in this case, an EGD is a esophagogastroduodenoscopy. That's the name, right? Oscopy. So we know it's a scope. So we know it's either root operation, or sorry, approach value um, four or eight, because those are the two that use a scope. So how do we determine? Well, four is percutaneous endoscopic, meaning percutaneous, remember, is a very small incision that they use to insert the scope, like in a joint, like in the knee, an arthroscopy. But in this case, the esophagus, they just put it right down through the patient's mouth, right? That's a natural orifice. And then go down through the esophagus into the stomach and the small intestine. So we're going to do eight 
via natural or artificial opening endoscopic. So the difference between approach character 7 and 8, remember 7 is not a scope. They just use their hands or tools to complete the procedure. They didn't use a scope. So with an EGD, they're using a scope. So 8 is our character for approach, and then device, there's no device, so our character is Z. And then our, our last column, character 7 for the qualifier, would we pick X for diagnostic or Z for no qualifier? What do we do when we have a biopsy? Diagnostic, good. So we're picking X because we're going to diagnose the tissue that we cut out, right? We're going to look at it. So our code is 0DB9H5. 